Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly reading for week commencing 24th of December 2018 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I hope you are Leo. Here are the cards. We have the King of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles and Judgment. I've also put, well there's also two Angel Answer cards and two Archangel Oracle cards. So I'm going to start with these two. I kind of think some of you have been through deception. Maybe there's people that you trusted that have let you down, people that you thought you could rely on, that you suddenly realise that you can't. And there's been some upset, some negativity around this situation. And I kind of think, certainly for some of you, it may well be on the career finance front. Um, maybe you've been let down at work. Maybe you've been let down and it's, it's meaning that you're trying to generate your own income. Maybe there's been some kind of like job loss or job threat. Or you're trying to improve yourself carrying on from this situation. You're trying to improve yourself for the better. The pentacles energy, though, is also about being grounded. And four can be a sign of stability. And even though you might be holding on to something really tight, it could be finance, worried about finances, so you're clinging on and being very careful. You're still very grounded. So very practical, very analytical about the situation that you've encountered. And I kind of think that you're beginning to value yourself again. This is about being valued, you know, this the pentacles energy also is about value, wealth, money. And maybe there's some initiative where you're beginning to see financial returns again. You're beginning to get money back in, but it's very slow, it's very slow moving, can be a bit frustrating. The, it can be about self-deception. I'm not really sensing that here. Um, so, yeah, I think it's more to do with having been deceived in the past. And somehow it's affected, you know, it could be your, you valuing yourself or it could have actually been affecting your finances. Now, here is the King of Wands. This is about where there might well have been some confusion, some upset, some emotional clouding of your judgment. This is where you're beginning to see things with a razor-sharp logic. You see the, the sky's clearing, the clouds are moving away. The King of Wands stands in the same pose as justice. And it is almost mimicking and saying truth and right is on your side and you have to know that, Leo. And also, the sword pointing up to the heavens is mimicking a victory pose. So there's, there might be some kind of victory, some comeuppance, um, something that might happen this week, certainly for some of you. But this is also about, the swords are to do with the mind. And now you're thinking clearly and you're looking forward and you're feeling more powerful, more energetic than you have done in the past, where you are standing still. You're now beginning to think about the future. And you see the butterflies on the throne in the background. This talks about transformation of your mind. This is the power of the mind. This is about being able to apply yourself, finding that power from within. Understanding people's motivations, seeing them crystal clear now. There's a certain degree of perception, not intuition, it's perception, that goes with this card. And the King of Swords is very stern about truth and justice, doing the right thing. And as long as you're in the right, just know that there will be some kind of karmic comeuppance, I'm just sensing that, for the people who have let you down in the past. But also it's time to cut away negative people, negative situations, and re-evaluate your future. 
and what you want and how to better your life. And this is releasing. As soon as you start getting power in your mind, your thoughts, your contemplations, how you think about people, how you allow people to affect you, how you don't allow people to confuse or trip you up or turn you into a negative state of mind anymore. In comes the Empress. The Empress is all about creation, abundance, creating a new future, a spark, an idea, inspiration, real creativity, real drive. But she's not just about that spark, she's about prov providing the right foundation for things to grow and thrive. And this is also about you seeing your future clearly now and seeing where you want to improve your life. It could be in love, could be in business, could be finances. And there's real potential here. And the Empress is also about being very magnetic, knowing how to bring in and attract wealth, prosperity, happiness, love, the perfect relationship. And you might well find an offer being presented to you. This is um, the Knight of Pentacles. This could be an offer of money, could be wealth. The Knight of Pentacles can also be, can be good news, can be good news coming your way. The court cards can also be people helping you, could be people, could be somebody that you may meet, could be either in love, could be also in the workplace, that are helping you, could be this, a new job, new, as I say, new windfall. This all starts from really conquering within, not allowing people to cloud your judgement anymore, seeing things clearly, and as soon as you do, in comes all this positive energy, abundant energy, creating energy, inspiring energy, fulfilling content energy, and it ushers in more wealth, more prosperity, more, more security for yourself. Maybe having felt a bit insecure, certainly with the Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles, I should say, this is bringing more material wealth, security your way long term. And it starts this week. And judgment, you see how judgment and, you know, you've got judgment, the king, mimicking justice, you've got judgment here. And this is a message for you to know and not worry now about what's gone on in the past. Not begrudge or think or let other people cloud your judgment of what's gone on in the past, this, this area of deception, hurt, betrayal. Because leave them to judgment. Judgment will catch up with them anyway. And judgment is now saying now is the time to let go. Let go of all baggage and move forward to your new destiny. This is a point in, in the journey where you let go. This is also about an awakening. Awakening to your true self, understanding your capabilities, your strengths, how you can apply yourself, how you can better your life for the future, something that's true to you. This is all to do with judgment. It's a very inspiring energy can be quite a stern energy as well, certainly for people who are on the wrong side of judgment. But I kind of think this is you. Judgment sees the true you. And he advises you to be true to yourself. And that's how you move forward. This is about releasing. This is walking away from the past to a stronger, brighter future. Also, it preaches forgive where you can forgive. And let go and move forward. So yeah, I think this is really positive. So I have two Angel Answer cards. There's normally one, but two popped out. The first one is in the near future. So if you've been asking questions to the universe for something, that's the first answer. And the second answer is perfect timing. So yeah, maybe the time is right now to start putting these things into action. So the first Archangel Oracle card is Breathe, Archangel Raphael, 
Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Again, all to do with releasing, letting go. And it's funny that it's just below this, this card of clinging tightly. Certainly cling tightly to things that are positive in your life, but let go of things that are negative now. And the last one, a beautiful card, Victory. Archangel Sandalphon, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Leo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I'd just like to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.